So it's National Pet Month, and Mari Vet is with Caesar Milan, love him, on, at the Santa Paula <laughs> Animal Rescue Center. Mar, you have to tell him that Ralphie is go. doing very well from our last session. Yeah. Hey, Caesar, do you remember being with Maria Sansone and her dog Ralphie? Yeah. She wants How you to know that he, Ralphie is doing very well. Good job. <laughs> good, that means you listen to your husband. <laughs> It that means that's good, 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 yeah. good girl. Good girl, Maria. Good girl. <laughs> she, she said it was her husband who needed the training. That's so, right. yeah, Maria, that's right. We are here at Spark, which is the Santa Paula Animal Rescue yeah. Center. So, of course, we're talking with Caesar. Caesar, it's National Pet Month. Yes. And so, what is the number one thing? Of course, you're all about adopting animals. Yeah. What is the number one thing people need to know when adopting, before they adopt? Well, number one, we have to remember in America, we euthanize four to five million pets and one way to help that number is by adopting mm -hmm. definitely spay and neuter have to be in our mind we have to adopt it as a, as a as a style of living you know so that way we completely eliminate the amount of dogs we kill a year yeah this is an unusual shelter this is a non-kill shelter we support this shelter very much because they're really committed to the well-being of dogs you know they're, re they're really committed to the education of people they have created an amazing um, community where everybody is cooperating everybody's volunteering you so know this is, yeah this is one of your Caesar Malone Foundation the shelter stars. Shelter so, stars. And that's because this is not a private rescue. This is actually a, a city shelter and they do not kill any of the animals. No killing here, in which is, is in a, it's, it's, a, it's a proven reality, you know, that, that we don't have to kill dogs. We just have to educate the public. We all have to be committed to help our dogs as a, as a community, as a country. Right. All right. We have a lot more helpful tips. We're going to get interactive with some of the yes. animals when we come back. So we're going to send it back to you for right no, now. More with me and Caesar. No, <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Caesar would be so proud because pretty much every day is pet day here on Good Day. Let's go back to Mari Vet. She's with Caesar Milan at the Animal Rescue Center in Santa Paula. What are you guys up to now? So that's what you have to take in consideration. You have to take in consideration the accumulation. Hi, Maria. Yes. Okay. So it's National Pet Month. You're ready to adopt your dog. You've committed to that decision. Caesar, you're going to show us once you're here at the shelter. We're here at the Santa Paula. Okay. <laughs> the doggy is doing his business. That about it. See, what, what you got to think is now after you make an agreement and now you're going to be committed to it, you need to learn to assist and evaluate. Anyway, don't look at the at the, at the case uh, or the cages because it's a pit bull in there. It's just what state of mind, what's the energy behind? Yeah, you, you look at the I, yeah. you look at the breed. A lot of times people look at the breed and they think, oh, that's not the right one. That is, that's right. They always go after the breed and the, the poor pit bull whenever they get adopted. So this is an alert alert case. So this is when you practice no touch, no talk, no eye contact. Okay. This no touch, a, no. The, yeah. No touch, no talk, no eye contact. No touch, no yeah. talk, no you eye contact. Dogs for the first time. So this way they learn to, to follow you if they want to or smell you. That's not aggression. I would think it's aggression because the dog's barking. Well, not only because it's a dog's barking, it's a pit bull barking. Yeah. So from that point on, this dog will be labeled as aggressive. Right. So he will never get a chance. This dog has been here for a year. You see, all because of that. He, nobody knows how to assess or evaluate. Therefore, they don't get the right uh, chance to be right. adopted. This so is here's another one. This is Luna. She's also up for yeah. adoption. Luna is more in the consumer state. You can see the difference, see the approach, the difference. Yes. Yeah. The difference. They, this one you can you can address the situation different. Let me show you an excited case over here. This is an excited case. But not the aggressive. Difference? The three pit bulls, three different state of mind. So you have to learn, assess, and evaluate. Right. That's and not go in with the crazy energy. Like I'll say, oh my what God, would you the do? dog, <laughs> That's so what she would do. That is the wrong state of mind to so, come into a shelter. So, okay, again, we can't all have Caesar, but you are now offering clinics. Can Actually, you, you can because Caesar is a philosophy. So we are offering training Caesar's way at the ranch. Okay. So you get to learn the fundamentals and the techniques and the principles. So we have all that information on myfoxla.com. Caesar, thank, thank you so you. much. I love you. Thank you. Yes, adopt, adopt. Thank you. His books are my Thank reference. you.